Hey everyone, uh, this is AA25, and this video is going to show you how to use Pandora's battery and your magic memory stick together to get custom firmware on custom firmware allowing PSPs, meaning all PSP FATs, most PSP Slims, and most PSP Slims, no PSP 3Ks or PSP GOs at all. And just to say, please don't ask if it works on a PSP 3000 or PSP GO. Anyway, you have if you watch my tutorials, you have made a Pandora's battery, either a hard mod or a soft mod. If you made it a hard mod, you might notice this battery. This is the same one I use when making that video. And then, if you watch my Magic Memory Stick video, you saw me making one. You didn't see the Magic the Memory Stick, but I used a 256 one. Um, any size between, I believe, 64 and 4 gigs should work. You need minimum 64 gigs megabytes of space on any memory stick for this to work anyway and so yeah I made these and right now my PSP right here is batteryless and memory stickless so this is very easy to do in this video I'll also show you the features of the thing anyway if you used in my video, I also included the download for the later PHP Grader program, and that's the one I use for this, which will, which could allow me if I ever break my PHP or something goes wrong, install 5.00 M33-4, not dash six, so you'll have to update after installing dash four whenever I need to. So first, to start this off, you want to insert your memory stick, like I'm doing now. Now, after you do that, take your Pandora's battery and you insert it in. And so what should happen, turn on automatically. You know what, I'll do it again because it did turn on automatically. I don't want any confusion. Take out the battery. Okay. Okay. There we go. I'm putting it in now. Not touching the power switch. So when you insert the Pandora's battery, PSP will turn on. And then your memory stick indicator will start to flash a lot. And then if you should see a menu, it doesn't necessarily have the same wallpaper background. But if you see this, that means it worked. So you could be happy with yourself. So this is how the menu looks like. If it didn't work for you when doing this, either have the bad memory stick or the bad Pandora's battery. How to test both of them? Easy. Put the Pandora's battery without the magic memory stick. If it turns on the PSP by yourself, that means most likely the problem is in your magic memory stick and you need to find out if you're using a memory stick that's not compatible, which is basically all of them between 256 and 4 gigabytes. And I forgot to mention, like on this man memory stick, this is an 8 gig. But it has Magic Gate. They must be Magic Gate enabled. If it says Magic Gate on the memory card, or that means it has Magic Gate. And if you don't know how to find out, usually if you go to uh, any memory stick option under like game or video stuff, press triangle, you click information, it will tell you a Magic Gate feature. It will either say supported if it has it, or unknown, meaning it doesn't have it. And that means your uh, it won't be able to become a Magic Memory Stick no matter what you do. Anyway, so this is how the menu looks like. So I have install 5.0 M33, it's a custom firmware, 5.0 official firmware. So if, I guess if you want to downgrade to an old official firmware, you can. And you don't like custom firmware, I don't know why this feature is for. Like, I know it has something to do with testing and stuff, whatever. Band operations really messes into like the main components of your PSP. I recommend no one messes with these operations unless they understand what NAND is and stuff so never use that. Hardware info gives you information about your PSP motherboard and what it's type. For example, mine's a slim TA88. It doesn't tell you what version of the motherboard but mine is a uh, version 2 for sure. The size of your NAND so like your flash zero and stuff is NAND and then just a bunch of other information mostly for uh, advanced 
users. Test M33. You can test the M33 on your memory stick, see if you like it or not before you install it. Shut down the device reboot. So I won't install any of these, but I can show you NAND operations. You can dump the NAND, you can restore the NAND, format a flash, and then ID storage tools. A lot of stuff, most of the stuff I really don't know what it does. Because I'm not that into PSP, you know? Anyway, so yeah, that's how you boot up PSP. Any questions, comments, you can just tell me, you know, I'll answer them if I can. And yeah, that's how you use your PSP memory stick. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope you subscribe.